Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? And Cinnabees. <laughs> How are you guys today? Um, day three. So far, so good. Um, feeling a little bit better. Uh, still got a little bit of pain, but I'm all good. I will survive. Okay. So, uh, coffee. Let's start with coffee. Just woke up. Ugh. I've been staying up really late, like one, two o'clock in the morning late, um, to try and finish this tutorial. So, um, I'm going to be filming the next part today. Um, the second, third, which are however many parts is out today. So yeah, so the next part will be out in a couple of days. Um, what else? That's it. <laughs> okay, coffee. I've been waiting for this one. Hawaiian hazelnut. Ooh. Oh, I love my hazelnut coffee. I really do. Okay, let's try it out. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> the excuse me <clears throat> these coffees are strong you know i'm not used to strong strong coffee i usually have like medium coffee my mom, <laughs> my stepdad and my mom they whenever they made coffee they made theirs so weak i guess in that generation that's what they did but um oh it was awful it was awful coffee it I won't tell you what people used to say about it. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I can't, my daughter, Tia, she loves dark roast. I can't drink dark roast. I'll be in the bathroom all day long. Um, but she's a dark roast and I'm a medium roast. And my mom was a weak roast. <laughs> so, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Oh, speaking of my daughter, um, I sent my grandson, Axel, a advent calendar, his first advent calendar, and he's been opening it. So I just got the videos for the first two days. I didn't know how to download them, so she sent them to me, um, and I was able to download them onto my phone. So I'm going to show them to you right now because they're so cute. So I think I might do a series if she sends me the videos where we see him opening his advent every day. Okay, so uh, here you go. It's that time. Okay, ready, pumpkin? Yeah. We're going we're gonna to teach you. Right here is number one. Can you open it? This one, yeah, so we're going to do that. Oh, okay, open it. Oh, what's that? Can you get it out? Oh, do you want me to help you? Yeah. Okay. I got to open it. It's chocolate. Okay, so we already did the one, right? Where's number two? There you go. You open this one. You got to pull it. <gasps> What's that one? Oh, mommy, open it for you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, if mommy can open it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. That's the bullshit way of opening it, but here you go. You eat, you eat it. Eat the chocolate. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Eat it. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Done. Done. <laughs> That's just garbage. Thank you. Is that a good piece of chocolate? 
Yeah, you had like the smallest bit. <laughs> yes, number three is next, but not, <laughs> not today. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> oh my goodness, he's growing so much. Um, <laughs> he's, he's going to button that one. Oh, oh. Anyway, um, so let's do our advent. Oh, I didn't have to take the plastic off it yet. George finally got my advent calendar. And uh, he got a doozy. He got a doozy. Because apparently with this one, you can scan the QR code and there's a, um, a little video clip with it. So here it is. Oops. It's a lint, a lint teddy bear one. So yeah, so you oops, you can open up the little squares, and I think each one has a QR code in it um, that you can scan, and it plays a video or something. So let's see. I have to find number one. There's number two. That's not going to help me. Number one. I don't know why they do the backgrounds so that you can't see where the numbers are. It's 8, 21, 11. Ah, there you are. Okay. Okay. I think it goes this way. Oh, is it little teddy bear? Whoop, little teddy bear. Oh, no, it isn't. There isn't a QR code back there. So it must be the QR code that's on here. Yeah, it's got to be this QR code back here that you scan. Anyway. So here's my little teddy bear. Whoop. Isn't he cute? <gasps> Today's day three. Oh, I have to open up all of these. <laughs> right. Okay, so here's day two. Oh. The snowball. The snowball. Uh, and then there's number three is... Who's number three? There you are. Right here. Oh, it's a little green. The teddy bear's got a green sweater this time. So there we go. The green sweater. <laughs> okay, so I'll eat those later. Oh, they look so cute. Now let's see about this QR code. Oh, uh, all right, let's see. I don't know if I can show this to you. Let's see. Oh. It says, in addition to ch delicious chocolate every day, find a new episode of the adventures of the Lint Ch Teddy Bear, or Teddy and his family. Uh, aim your camera so that the marker on the screen corresponds to the advent calendar. Close some of the open windows to optimize image. Allow access to your camera and microphone to activate um, the reality mode. Make sure you have a good internet connection. Oh, look at that! Oh, okay. So, I don't know if I can do this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try and do this screen sharing thing that I just learned about. And, uh, I'll see if I can do it that way. Um, yeah, let's do it that way. 
And if I can do it, I will put it on the screen. And uh, so, yeah, so hopefully you saw that. I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's a neat, uh, so you, you put the cute, you put the, um, the app thing on and then you scan each of the pictures and it will do a little thing. That's neat, interactive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's our question from yesterday. In the UK, it's tradition to take down the tree within... Tw no, that's not... Nope, it's not. Wrong one. <laughs> uh, which Welsh Christmas tradition can involve being bitten by a horse skull? That was the weirdest thing. Um, on, <laughs> a lot of you said, I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, on Christmas, the Mari, Mari Lode, um, I probably totally botched that, emerges to sing and exchange rhymes with residents she visits. Uh, she just, she's just someone under the sheet, what, carrying a horse skull, but be ready with refreshments or money, she bites. Okay, that's a horror movie in itself. She's in under the sheets. What? What? She's I no uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you, but no. Okay. <clears throat> that was weird. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's pick this one. Oop. Which soda manufacturer is often credited with popu popularizing the image of the bearded, apple-cheeked Santa we all know today? Oh, that one's easy. That's easy. <laughs> oh, sorry. My dog, you know. <sighs> She's always got to make a, an announcement of some sort, you know. So here it is again. Which Santa manuf which, Santa, which soda manufacturer is often credited with popularizing the image of a bearded, apple-cheeked Santa that we know? That's easy. See, I just threw that one at you guys so that you could all get one. <laughs> okay. I did a thing. I did a thing. I um, may or may not have put an order, a little order in at Michael's. I might have. Because um, I uh, saw a Instagram post from Humble Child Co. who does the patterns for my big Krakens, my big octopus, which I, I've moved here I was taking pictures so that I could try and get uh, try and sell them um, so anyways she was doing some Krakens or it's called anchor of the octopus um, in mystical yarn I went what like they are gorgeous I loved the way they looked so you know I kind of had to um, so I got some more of the black. I, I mean, when I did that octopus for that customer in this, I just, mm, 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 mm. it was nice. It was really nice. This is Cinder. I just love this. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then I got, oh, yes, I haven't gotten these colors yet. The first one I saw when I went and looked at these for the first time was the green. And I didn't pick it up. I loved the color. And I'm not usually a green person, but I just love the color. I am weak as a kitten, you guys. I don't know what's going on. 
Ugh. All right, here's the green. It's actually darker than this. Let's see. Nope, that's not it. Well, maybe. It's kind of like that. Yeah. There we go. Oh, why are you guys falling down? Falling down, falling down. Okay, there you go. So this green looked amazing as a octopus. Um, and then I got uh, the poet pole. Oh, the green is called, uh, what is the green called? Spearmint. That's why I like it. I love spearmint. Spearmint candies. Yeah, bring one. Uh, I don't like peppermint. It's got to be spearmint. <laughs> this is called Purple Sky. Isn't that pretty? Now, I want to tell you guys, I absolutely love working with this yarn. I love it so much. And I hate blanket yarn with a passion. But this, they need to make all of their blanket yarn like this. I swear to God, because, man, this stuff is so soft and it doesn't shed at all. Like... I use a lot of velvet yarns and, and chenilles and stuff like that. And for the most part, all of them will shed. This doesn't. It glides so beautifully on my hook. Um, there's no drag. There's no, like, that's the thing I hate about blanket yarn is it drags so much and it hurts your wrists when you work with it. It's just, I, I can't stand the stuff. I love the colors, but I can't stand the yarn. This is fantastic. Fantastic. I love it. And it doesn't matter if you use a wood hook, a, a resin hook, or a metal hook. It works well on all of them. So, I'm going to be making some Krakens. Can't help it. Gotta do it. But I can't do it until I'm done this sweater. So, um, I'm going to be filming the next part today. Uh, and, yeah. Hopefully get that out. And I'm going to stagger it to every couple of days. Hopefully. Every third day or something. I don't know. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the tutorial so far. Um... I know the first one with the Christmas tree was a bit obnoxious, um, but I think it's going to look really good on the sweater. And it's an option, right? If you hate doing the back panel of something because it takes so long, this cuts it in half, right? Um, so that you're doing two smaller portions of the back. Uh, and it's just something new. It's a focal point for on the back of the sweater that you don't normally see when you're trying to buy a handmade sweater. All right, so I thought I'd just do something really outside the box and try something new. So that's what I did. And I'll tell you, I'm starting to like that because I did it, I'm doing it on another sweater as well. I'm doing a hexagon cardin, cardigan. I think I showed you some of it. Um, and I put the not, not this one, but something similar to that uh, on the back. I'll get to that one after I finish this card again. Oh, I've got so much I want to do, you guys. Oh. Um, I'm also going to be doing, on one of these Vlogmas videos, I'm going to be doing a couple of cooking um, Christmas treat kind of cooking videos if you guys don't mind I found this awesome way of doing things that's probably been around forever and but I just found it so um the Christmas crack kind of I hate that word um the Christmas candy Christmas wafers I don't know what the heck but anyways so I'm going to be doing that soon too uh what else that's it that's all I got you guys so I'm gonna go and I will see you guys tomorrow so get get your stuff ready we're gonna get on this sweater okay <laughs> okay love you all bye